Hello students and parents welcome back to my channel today i am going to explain you an important chapter of physics that is reflection of light so let's get started light is an electromagnetic radiation that can be detected by human eye sun including all the stars in this universe are called the natural sources of light there are other light sources which are not made by nature which are man made those sources of light are called artificial sources of light all the objects that can emit light are called luminous objects the other things that cannot emit light are called non luminous objects light always travels in a straight line and needs a medium to travel the medium that allows light to pass through completely is called transparent medium such as water transparent paper glass etc the medium that allows light to pass through partially is called translucent medium such as special type of window glasses tracing paper etc the medium that totally prevent light to pass through is called opaque object or opaque medium such as wood plastic metals etc when light falls on the interface of two different mediums all of its portion or some of it will return back to the previous medium it is called the reflection of light when light rays falls on a smooth surface its maximum portion will return back to the previous medium it is called regular reflection regular reflection will create an image of the object such as in case of a plain mirror when light rays falls on a rough and irregular surface it will scatter here and there and this type of reflection is called irregular reflection these scattered rays falls on all the objects in our surroundings and those becomes visible to us let's do some fun with a plain mirror Here I took a plain mirror and fixed it in front of a white background. I took a medium size comb and two hanging clips. I fixed two hanging clips on the both side of the comb so that it can stand and can't move. Now I kept the comb in front of the plain mirror. I am using here a smartphone torch but you can use a normal torch also. Now I switch off the room light and keep the torch near the comb on the opposite side of the plain mirror. Now you can see a beautiful view of the light rays passing through the comb and reflecting through the mirror. From this nice experiment you can observe that light travels in a straight line. You can clearly observe that when a bunch of parallel light rays falls on a plain mirror then it will reflect parallelly. Due to this A clear image of parallel rays are generated inside the mirror. It looks like the parallel rays are coming from the inside of the mirror. If I move the position of the comb, then also the parallel rays remains parallel to each other same as the image also. Isn't it funny and interesting? I hope my today's video will become helpful for you. Stay tuned to my channel to get more and more dislike science related videos for you. Bye students and bye parents.